Since you guys love my USB hacker video, I will show you how to do it yourself. Go to Amazon and search for DigiSpark ATiny85. They cost around 10 euros for five of them and one costs around five euros. Search for Arduino download and download the proper software to your operating system. If you've downloaded it and launched it, go to File, Preferences, and paste the link in here that I will tag in the video description and press OK. After that, go to Tools, Board, Board Manager, select Type Contributed. And if you did it properly and, and search for Digi, you should see something like Digi Stamp AVR Boards and install it. I already installed it. After you've installed it, go to Tools, Board, Digi Stamp and select the Digi Spark default 16.5 MHz version. Now go to File, Examples and scroll down until you see something like DigiSpark Keyboard and select Keyboard. So as you can see, we have two functions here. The first one is Setup and the second one is Loop. So for those who never programmed before, the first one is only going to call your commands once and then exits it. And Loop is always on a loop as the word says. So programming with that is really simple. You have the command digikeyboard.println and it prints like if you type what's up TikTok. Digikeyboard.send keystroke and there's a keystroke like shift or command or any other um, letter you want. And digikeyboard.delay makes like a delay, uh, in my case, five seconds until the next command follows. If you search for Digispark commands, you can find a GitHub repo with all commands you can do with like key I, key J, all uh, letters and uh, type them out or like the button F9 or F10, anything you want. And yeah, so all you have to do now is just press the upload button on the top and just say something like, please plug in device now. So you should uh, plug your device in. Wait a sec. And now it's done. And now you can unplug it and it will write the code uh, every five seconds. So if you have any trouble with it, just contact me and please just use it for educational purpose and don't do anything stupid with it.